the Brew Crew and welcome to another episode of my Drea Pirlo Glory to Success save. And I'm Jack here, the Espresso Cat, and we are back for the Italian Cup quarterfinal. And <laughs> uh, so yeah, we sold a lot of players, so now we are in the wage budget though. So uh, I actually not signed any players because yeah, we. We don't have that much money, so uh, yeah. Matthias uh, Thiago going to uh, China, so that's pretty nice to pay all his wages of 24 million. Yes, Valencia paid more for him, but it's, it's still nice. And then I've loaned out a lot of players here that also isn't good enough. Hernie uh, Clement, 18.20. Signed on this, so maybe I could. Yeah, I'm selling both right backs because they are have so high wages. Uh, so yeah, they pay all of his wages. As you can see, six hundred thousand. So and then Ben the Ben Moore, a more. <laughs> uh, we sell him as well. Unfortunately, we lost almost half of his uh, money there. And then we have loaned in some place Saul Granierio midfielder very defensive the right midfielder but uh, I guess he can play as a right back as well there uh, loaned in from Levante so most of these they do not even cost us that much Dueda Frank Dueda a Romanian feller uh, loaned in from Real Betis here fortunately it's not that much better but at least he doesn't cost the fortune at least that's more reasonable price for a free star player. Uh, I guess we'll see. We, we might. I mean, can they stop doing that? We might sign some players if they do good and if we can sign them. But I'm pretty sure we can't sign these two. Daniel De Luca um, back up to Xavi Lopez there. Uh, do I think him of? And then. Uh, Johan Gill is going to be our fourth choice on the as, uh, central defender right now. Manchester support is not that great because four pl four players hate me. So yeah, that's not great. And we're trying to sell, try to loan out him. I uh, actually loaned out him again. I wanted him, but. Apparently he wants to be loaned out, but I just think it's great, but well, I guess we'll go with Sene uh, So yeah, what we need is another right back as well And a left midfielder and they kind of complain that we don't have a good left midfielder and uh, Yeah, I'm not playing to see I'm playing to see there instead So yeah, we have uh, what was it? 22 two players I think three of them will, will leave so we will have 90 players then and uh, so I think we will we will play this uh, you know match and then we'll play both Italian Cup matches because I believe they are going to come here in February I guess we'll see if we don't go through we will not show that don't move the mic <laughs> then it starts to uh, we lost the first match against Torino Yes, uh, yeah, better possession here, but they created the chances. One against uh, Udinese. Here, Federico Bel Belvia Bel Belaviaqua, uh, youngster that we have there, the brought in. He's actually going to start today. And uh, Xavi Lopez there scoring after one minute, but yeah, we are solid defensively though, so we are 10th right now. And uh, Musa CC scoring there against Kievo. So yeah, we are 10th and have about 7 points up to Europa places. Atlanta is there, that's surprising so, but well, we go with this line of San... Uh, San... Sanin... Saninetti. Uh, Dudia Koselov is a uh, Romanian fa oh no oh, well, I guess he can play best there Libero is the best 
that's weird. Uh, Henry Oliarna, uh, Modino, Hernan Modino, I can't say any one of these now. Sissi, uh, Musa Sissi, uh, Luca De Maria, Stefanovic. I'm trying in here, but so far it's not been that great, even if its wages are really high. And it's supposed to be like one of our best. I've not seen so much. Actually, last season I scored a lot of goals, so I don't know. Uh, Lopez, the 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 cook, Nils the cook. Uh, we have here as well. Uh, he's probably the best player, four star there. And then Belacqua, uh, Federico Belacqua. He's actually not gotten any. Yeah, some of these players actually not really got the chance here. Uh, like An Antonelli Di Giuseppe, I think he's pretty decent. Oh, they signed it just for free, <laughs> Roma. But I think he's pretty decent. Okay, he's not nothing outstanding, but it's kind of weird that not giving him any sort of chances uh, when he's like their only choice. I don't know. Did they play a different tactic here? Yeah, I'm just curious. <sighs> because, oh yeah, they had him, of course, as well pressure to take a draw against uh, Inter so yeah hopefully we will be able to uh, play <laughs> yeah most of the new players doesn't get that good numbers hopefully we'll be able to play the job I, we probably what was it is either Atlanta or Milan so I was kind of surprised that we got to meet uh, Genoa here, so I hope we can win this. Goal for the season was, after all, to go to the semi-final now, I believe, or... Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that, and quarter-final in the Europa League, so... I think it's possible. I'm going to try to, but it's like... It's one week, so it, take, it took ages to get all players out of here, so I don't know if we're going to be able, and we just get 30% of transfer income. I'm, I might ask them to up that, so we get a little bit more money in the transfer budget, but right now we have like 11 million, and I will not find any player that's like, have the potential and can or is that good it's really weird we have three non-eu player in the back line and yeah i i think i'm mostly just going to go for low now we will try to at least get a full squad up here i want to lower his wages is way too high wages but he's been here for like what is one two three five six seven eight it's his and he's south italian so it would be it would be pretty cool if he could retire at this club but yeah <sighs> the problem is he's probably want to be a player that starts from the beginning <laughs> Cyprus feller that I was thinking of getting in here but <laughs> do not want to get game time he is he has more potential uh, than Sanietti Lopez Belinqua guess yeah uh, he's not either <laughs> he's not either been that good to smack I, f I feel like he's also one of the players that doesn't like me it's not the great <laughs> start but I guess if we get the results going they possibly not going to be that uh, annoyed at me i don't know oh it is key i like to just i don't know how far we can go i would i would love the thought of bringing ella de mio back nils de Koch, and i mean S stefanovic i i'm not sure about this he looks good but i'm not i'm not sure but i will most of players, except the ones that had like really high wages, I will just give them a chance here, and then we'll see. Just uh, where do we have you, the Luca? You coming in here, Jill? You can come in for 
given the new loans here. Some game time. We dominate this match, but I guess it's nice. I'm solid, solid defending. At least, but I, I think we have good Henry Orellana. Niels the co cook. That's nice. He's, he's actually not been that prolific uh, of uh, creating chances so far. So now or when it happens. Stefanovic. Oh, <laughs> Henry scored two goals. I mean, look at how majestic he looks. 26 year old in that beard. So yeah, unfortunately as well. Um, we can't bring in non-EU players because we already have two for the season, so... This Ooh, it's Loban! Finally, it's just score. He looks almost the same. <laughs> uh, from sometimes they see uh, regenerated faces. They all look kind of similar. Oh no, Mil Milone. Franco Milone. He's not that bad. Guess I uh, might just if he has potential, but I'm not sure. He's just played one match. From start one league match from start, that's kinda of surprising. So we are very well performed. I like this. <laughs> They're showing up for you. <laughs> and we were not that great in the other match. So yeah, you can see here. I guess it isn't. Where is it? It is today, so I guess we'll see. It was nice to see actually the really good performance by the whole team. It's been a little bit struggle, should I say struggle? Or at least not that superb. Oh man, all of this. I think most of these are just players that are alone, but I like I like this fellow, Sebastian Arnold. His contract is going out as well. He's, he has just two stars. I don't know. He's a good. Uh, I, I want to see more of him before I decide. Because the ESX 61 is just not even the greenish there. This player. Oh. He looks interesting as well, but again, I don't know. We <laughs> have to see more of him before we decide. And I don't know how good my scouts are either. He is really interesting and he is not that expensive actually. 60 <laughs> Romanians, I have not had such a lot with them so far. But yeah, he looks, uh, unfortunately heading is not that great though. But he has 66 and then 4 star potential so. It doesn't cost that much but I don't think we're just going to go on the Positions that which need strengthening first, or maybe uh, I think we, yeah, I want to play through some matches. So m possibly Milan, and then uh, yeah, if we still have the chance, Milan and then Juventus here might get the youth and take, and then probably hello and welcome back here, and we have s loaned some more players, <laughs> which isn't surprising. Uh, so, Juan Manuel, a right back from uh, Real Madrid, is probably going to be our first choice here. And um, yeah, just loan him in. Uh, we actually signed one player. Uh, City is also loaned in from. Uh, yeah, we are. We were well, very thin in central midfield, so we needed some central midfielders. Probably none of these we will be able to sign for real because. They don't they are youth players. Uh, though Claudia Langier and uh, my scouts find and yeah, he wasn't that expensive and already good enough for Serie A and has potential for more. Unfortunately, it's match fit now. Yeah, uh, and it seems it's, it's, yeah, his match fit now was not very good. Now he's match fit. So we might bring him in against Milan, but he's not going to. Uh, so 8.5 there. And uh, Salvatore, uh, Sa Sal Salvador, Salvador, 18 a heading, 16 a finishing, a uh, composite 16. Okay, some of those stats could be better, definitely. Passing and technique, but still really solid. 
Um, and then we have sold. We loaned out team. We loaned out Be Belacqua uh, to Sir B. Spal that is in the top there. Uh, Tarek uh, La Lafi uh, sold him. I believe that is a uh, Chinese club. And then we sold the youngster there. So yeah. <coughs> So, we lost against Portanone, kind of, yeah, we did not start a great, we are about to come back and then our, our defenders just drag on too many uh, free kicks and eventually Marcelo Munari got so many free kicks and eventually got it in as you can see the 15 on free kicks, so can't give him that many chances. And then against Parma, there's bottom of Tade. I kind of rotated a little bit and go, got some of the new guys in here. We're leading 1-0. Antonio Di Giuseppe, we might just show you that goal. Really, <laughs> after just five minutes, he was superb. I'm going to give him more and more game time. Uh, he doesn't have that much potential, but I, I still like him as a player. So uh, yeah, he picks up the ball there, goes in and shoots. So very nice. And then S S Salva Dore scored the goals for it. So, yeah, pretty many players really good there. But yeah, they scored a very light goal there. So I was worried they wouldn't get the points, but we did it. So so far pretty good. Just two losses and what is that? Five wins. It's nice because they have had a lot of draws, so hopefully we will not draw that much in the league because I've seen, what was it, 8? I might just show you here. Can we see that? Yeah. 8, 8, 7. Yeah, that's definitely mid-table 4 or mid-table madness or whatever to call it. So we're going with San Saninet. He's do not concede that many goals. Juan Manuel, of, of, uh, apparently his best as offensive fullback. Kuslev, uh, Henry Orlana, Mondino, Sissi, Di Maria, uh, Di Giuseppe, uh, Lopez, Di Cook, and Ste Ste Stevanovic. So yeah, going with that lineup, going uh, pretty defensive here. I'm scared. I don't want to have another 6 0 against Milan. Uh, so we're hoping for nil nil or like draw 1 1. I, I'm, I don't think we can win there away, but as long as we can take any points, I'm. Or points. I mean, as long as we don't can't can see that many. He haven't been thinking. Oh no, he's a Frenchman as well. He haven't been thinking. Oh, doesn't look that bad either. Scout a lot of these players. What uh, which country is going out so far? I find one Mexican that looks really good. That has like had French pass, but then right away, uh, Manchester United renewed his contract. So yeah. So let's go out there on San Siro and let's do our best against Milan and I would love to get to uh, final Mondino I guess we are okay we go freely Mondino ooh. and so yeah sadly <laughs> we're not going to get in that many that's like sheep which I was hoping for that we could find some transfers going up but most are like really old and I don't want that many oldies if it isn't some that has like good fitness still but I don't believe that so far fairly even not too bad it had some more chances here but still we have not seen too much I like that Because this is what I feel like we have to do in the first match, definitely. It's mostly a defend and try to not concede any goal. And win 
just play a natural game at home uh, in Sao Paulo try to win there but so far uh, we actually winning the possession as well oh don't go oh, Mirko Batolia scoring there well he is superb after all what is he is he's a well class he's probably is but I mean yeah it's good definitely Giuseppe has not been good okay let's get Stefanovic and let's get Zizyamic there is it anyone else that's not been great Lopez um, I guess it doesn't I get the Luca I know it's worse stuff but why don't we make changes and wait to see if it makes any difference? Would love if we can punt the goal here as well. Get a draw. I think um, Milan wouldn't be overall happy with just a, a draw 1-1 one, one at home. Advanced playmaker. Well, let's try it there. Maybe control a little bit more ball. I guess, that, yeah, we've had more of the ball at least. So we stopped him from having that many, I guess 8 shots is still a lot, but we've not seen that many chances, so even if that might be boring to see, I feel like it's good for us. Uh, oh, I thought that would be a goal though. Should we go? I'm, I think we're going to go cautious here. Last minute. But a 1 nil loss isn't too bad. It's just we're in some if we can score. Many goal. Jamik. Ooh. A little bit worried now though. Because two nulls definitely feel tougher. Can we? Yes. Good Langer. No. We we'll lose the ball. Now it's just half a sec. Half a minute left so. Ah, don't let them score here, please. Please defend. No, good Mondino, that's a good tackle there. Good. <laughs> I, I sound like <laughs> Senator Palpatine. Good. <laughs> so I guess we will be back for that uh, second game. I mean, Grabs, yeah, they definitely deserve to win, but. To be fair, I feel like we have a chance definitely to turn that around with me there, uh, Lazio. And yeah, Lazio just, uh, or Inter got a draw against Lazio, so both uh, semi-finals is open. So I guess in the next match we will do the semi-final, and I will try to go through as well. I could not register every single play for that. Sassuolo is pretty important because they are... Yeah, just above us, and that then we are in the top half again. But that's the way, so I don't know really. <laughs> but well, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I see you soon again. So bye.